This person that you met wants to be totally who she is too. Mm -hmm. She's just hasn't she's just not far enough down the path to recognize that her ability to perceive that what she's looking for is right there. That's what we were talking about earlier, that you're it, it, what what we're all doing here mm -hmm. is practicing the vibration of perception so that we can recognize what we're looking for when it's standing right in front of us. Mm -hmm. And often, and, and we're not saying that you should double back around and try to convince her of anything because there are always those who are ready when you're ready. Right. But this is an important thing for us to say to you, to anyone, and that is when when something like that happens it's speaking as much about your readiness as it is about the others mm. and and that's a little tricky to hear because you felt you felt like it, you were you were ready and that not only you were ready but that you had found something that you thought fit right in mm. but as you have that experience and then you acknowledge this. Law of attraction never makes a mistake. Ever. Mm. Law of attraction always yields back to you exactly what you're putting out. So if you're putting out a wobble and not knowing it, it'll come back to you to help you to know it. Right. So what we would say to you is start in a general place. In other words, acknowledge acknowledge what it is that you want and why you want it. Because sometimes in trying to find a relationship, most people don't realize it, but they're trying to fill some void mm. that can only be filled through your alignment with who you really are. And when that's something that's really important to you, other things that you thought were what you wanted bounce off of you because they're not really what you want. There's something else that you want first. That's why we say mm -hmm. alignment trumps everything. Can you hear us when we say, we're asking all of you, but especially you, can you hear us when we say the relationship that you're really wanting to foster, discover is, is uh, too strong of a word, but it applies. Discover and foster and encourage and understand and know is the relationship between you and your inner being. Mm. And once that is really, really established, somebody who's not a vibrational match to that won't even show up on your radar. But if you've got a wobble going on, then you're going to be attracted to others that have the, the wobble going on. That are, are you getting what we're talking about? When you are really in alignment with who you are, only those who are really in alignment with who they are will come to your radar. But if you're sort of wobbling all over the place, then you've got a wider range of those that are going to be attracted to you and you to them. Well, the thing is, is that she's, she's into going to church and praying to God. And, you know, I believe in God and I, I, I actually communicate with angels too. And I guess that's that's even another thing too is 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 there you know is there angels up there you know and and I feel like they communicate through me and I now we change the subject I, I guess because because she she saw the angel cards on my in my home that was why that and that freaked her out it freaked her out yeah she likes devil cards <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Exactly. It's exactly. It really boggled my mind. And she goes to church and prays. I really like you and I like the roses, but there's far too much well-being around you for me. <laughs> you're just surrounded by well-being. I can't take that. I, mean, <laughs> I like exactly I like, my point. I like my men to beat me. I I, I know. <laughs> well, we're just exaggerating. We're we're just pointing out the absurdity of someone being freaked out by angel cards. Yeah. Or by or by positive emotion or by someone who's appreciating them. In other words, and so but what we really want to say is why is it necessary? This is this may be the most important question that anyone has ever asked anyone, and we're asking you. Why does it matter why something isn't a match when there are so many matches? Right. And I truly, I truly believe that because 
but, Even, but, 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 but okay. let's stay there for just a minute because the tendency is to try to figure out why this wasn't a match. That's like asking right. somebody why they don't want to eat peas. Mark, Mark won't eat peas. <laughs> he won't. He won't eat peas. And Esther takes him to a restaurant in Del Mar where they make the most unbelievable fresh green pea soup. Not split pea. Fresh green soup. It is the best thing Esther has ever put in her mouth. And she cannot get Mark to even touch it to his lips. <laughs> <laughs> and if Esther decided to make that her quest she would squander the rest of her life trying to get him to do something he's never going to do in other words and why why do, why make something important why make why make something important that that isn't matching there are millions of other things where Mark matches in all of this but the pee thing has really got Esther worried <laughs> She plotted, she plotted how she was going to introduce him to peace. She was going to put something on something that he liked. You think we're kidding? We're not kidding about this. In other words, we're not kidding about it in this, we're not kidding about this concept in this sense. The path of least resistance. What does that sound like to you? The path of least resistance. The path of least resistance. Not the path of proving myself. Not the path of figuring out why somebody doesn't like me. Not the path of understanding what went wrong. The path of least resistance. The path of least resistance. The path of least resistance. Every, don't make things hard. Make things as easy as you possibly can, which means we would spend not one more minute trying to figure out why someone wouldn't be delighted with what you have to offer. Just accept that if that there was more resistance on the path than needed to be, and now just look for the path of least resistance. Mm -hmm. And I almost felt like it's uh, almost like the universe is testing me to see, like, hey, you're getting closer to the woman you're about to attract into your life. The let's, see, let's, let's see if you can. The universe has never it, tested you test, ever, okay. ever, 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 okay. ever, ever, ever. That's why you shouldn't go to church. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That makes sense. <laughs> you should go to church. That's, but that's the part that they've got the most wrong. Okay. That's the part they've got the most wrong. The universe is not testing you. The universe is is yielding to you evidence of where you are vibrationally. Mm, okay. How else are you going to know? Right. And it, so, so when something begins to manifest and it doesn't feel right, don't try to make it righter. Just mm. step back into the wobble, less wobble-free zone. Mm -hmm. I gave gratitude, though, when that happened because I just was like, okay, good. I'm glad that happened because... That was my clarifying experience. And, okay. what, and what is the clarification that came to you? The clarification came to me that that um, that, that, there, person, that person, uh, since I'm vibrating with that connection, that means that connection is about to come even faster, if that makes any sense. So, so since I know for sure that I'm in sync with who I am and what I want, mm -hmm. and something that I thought was... was um, a relationship that I thought that I wanted to pursue or proceed on because it didn't happen. I now know that since I'm sure that I was in sync with who I am, then that must be the component that's out of whack. This is big because until you are sure that you're in sync, you can't know what components out of whack. And this is the thing we're wanting to help you to clarify because we, if we were standing in your physical shoes and anything that we thought we wanted wasn't coming into fruition, we'd say, oh, good, more evidence that there's more vibrational adjustment for me to do. And the reason that you keep feeling like you need to do vibrational adjustment is because you're trying to fill the grid in too far. Really, roses on the first date. <laughs> 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 in other words <laughs> what you want is just going to flow right to you you don't have to try so hard you don't have to try so hard when you get in sync with who you are and what you are looking for in a relationship 
it is our promise to you that another, and there are many who, who fit the vibrational equivalent, will flow easily and effortlessly into your experience. And that that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the next logical step, not the next challenge, not the, not the next thing to conquer or overcome. You're just looking for the next logical step. It will always come in a steady path, a steady trail of circumstances and events leading you to where you want to be, but leading you to where you are right now wanting to be, where you are right now wanting to be, where you are right now wanting to be, where you are right now wanting to be. So what you're saying is that I'm getting closer to it? It's just, there's just an element? Okay. <laughs> well, your question is sort of giving you away. Because, because your question is, is amplifying the fact that you're sort of riding in the discord of not being there. Mm -hmm. And you can't, you can't be riding in the discord of not being where you want to be and shorten it. You've got to be happy where you are. Right. And that, that worries people because they say, oh, yeah, Abraham just wants us to be happy where they, we are and have this vibrational vortex of attraction. <laughs> they, they don't care if what we want ever comes to us. We do care. We want full manifestation. We want you to have everything that you want. We just know that you can't get to what you want from the place of feeling angst about it not yet being there. You have to just chill out and know it's coming and take pleasure in the knowledge that it's coming. Take pleasure in the in the data that you're collecting and in the emotions that you're feeling. This right. is this is such an important conversation to have because there there is this gap between what you've created and what you've let in. It's there a lot, isn't it? The money you want, the houses you want, the dream jobs you want, the dream relationships you want. In other words, there are all kinds of things that you want that are still in the process of becoming. And as long as there is this gap where your attention is upon the absence of them instead of upon the progress of them. Mm. So the emotion about it is progress if you feel good. Right. If you feel lonely, that's not telling you that you're moving toward what you want, but that you're pulling away from what you want. So it's the progress. It's the feeling of positive progress. That's why we, we have so many conversations with so many of you wanting to find ways to help you understand how it is that you create your own reality. What makes, what turns thoughts to things? What does that? How do you create your own reality? Well, you think your way into being. Well, that feels vague, Abraham. Please explain it to me more. Okay. We'll write another book and another book and another book. We'll keep telling you how it is. You think thoughts and you create a vibrational reality. And then you've got to find some way of making peace with the vibrational reality that you've created, which means you can't long for what's in there that you don't have. You have to be happy about what's in there that hasn't manifested yet. You have to be trusting that what's in there will show itself to you in its fullness. You have to be satisfied with the setup. You have to be pleased with the, with the nuggets along the way. You have to be proud of yourself for feeling your emotions. You have to know for sure that it is coming. More important that you are coming to it. You have to know that you're on the trail. You have to take delight in the trail. You have to be so happy about the journey that you're not upset that you haven't completed the destination because you will never complete the destination. Mm -hmm. That's why so many relationships are good in the beginning and then they're not good anymore. It's because you got there and you stopped going there. Mm -hmm. You got to keep going right. there. You got to keep going to the new things that the relationship keeps showing you that it can be. The relationship is dynamic. You are dynamic. Your relationship with your desires is dynamic. Life is dynamic. It will never stand still, you see.